everybody welcome back today we have got a another uh, parts unboxing install and review for you guys um, before I jump into that I would like to give a shout out to my friends over here at EV Power Sports for loaning us a machine to do this install video and review for you guys now I had this company contact me they sent me an email uh, under the name Elite Wheel. There will be a link down in the description on how to get to this product. Uh, but before we go any further in this video, if you guys have found this video, uh, whether you're a subscriber, if you're a subscriber, give us a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and consider hitting that subscription button. Give us a thumbs up. Hopefully today's video will help you decide uh, about this product. So let's dive right into it. Let's see what we got in the box. Let's see what they have sent us, and then we will go over the information, uh, the fine details about all of this. Let's see. Let's find here. Get me a sharp object to cut this open with. check this out let's see what they got so it looks like they sent us a spare tire carrier that is a very cheap and functional option uh, uh, something that you can have you're out riding the trails if you do a lot of riding stuff like that if you have been in the off-road community at any period of time you understand the importance of having a spare wheel, a spare tire. Uh, anything can happen. Let's come in here and check that out. So the fine details, looking over their site and the information that they sent me, this spare tire carrier fits a 2014 to 2020 uh, XP1000, an XP4 with a factory cage. And we're going to go over the options. You can see all the stuff that they provided us. You know, basically all this is supposed to do, you even got the hardware uh, to mount all this up. Should be a fairly simple install. We'll go over the amount of time that it took me. Um, about the only thing you need for a tool is an Allen wrench. They provided Allen bolts. Looks like that. You know, this clamps around the cage. And then you put your Allen bolts in all four corners. And then it should be able to just hang tight and stay right there. So this right here, um, I'll talk about a price point early on in the video. So looking at how they have it priced on Amazon right now, is this is right around a sub $100 option. Um, this is a very good option for security um, of carrying your spare tire and uh, or wheel and tire combo. Um, keeps you from getting stranded on the trails. Uh, can help you hopefully you'd never have to use it but sometimes you do been there done that so let's jump right into this install and let's get it done right, we'll see what kind of hardware we got in here. so you got your lug nuts you got four lug nuts put put these on here real quick uh so we don't lose them they'll always be there and then you got your allen bolts it's a good idea while you're off, you've gotten stuff like this off of the machine, is to run through and check your threads with your bolts. You don't want to be putting all this stuff together and then all of a sudden, you know, the bolts are real tight. You might have to chase the threads or something's going on. You have to pull everything back apart. So you just go ahead, check, double check, make sure that your threads are good. It's a simple peace of mind. Now, do the same thing for the other side. It's 
sometimes they you know there's like paint and powder coat and stuff on these products it will get down in the threads so you need to chase them out a little bit i've seen it happen even on your biggest brands uh, of manufacturers and stuff different things from razor parts to basically anything that can be powder coated so we know those are good we're gonna um Grab us a socket and an impact, and we're gonna go over here to the machine, show you guys the machine that we're gonna be doing this install on, and then we're gonna get it knocked out. XV4 Turbo, hope I pronounced that right. It's the uh, Razor 4 Seater 64 inch um, turbo version, a little bit bigger and better than an XP1000, but it, you, it, we still have and utilize the factory cage options. So what I'm going to do is get my test fit, let's see, up here, so we're going to go ahead and hop up here and get started on the install. Um, I think this is factory height, so if you do, if you go to do this install, you might need a step ladder or something, um, you have your bed area. I would recommend being cautious stepping around on your plastics back here. So what I'm going to try to do is get everything fitted. Try to get it in place. See exactly where we want to mount it or can mount it. So we tried to put the spare tire carrier on with the cage just like it is right here and it's a really tight fit so what I'm gonna do is is loosen up the bolts on the factory cage there's two bolts here and then there's two bolts up top right here these are 15 millimeters uh, we're gonna do it for both sides loosen them give us a little more wiggle room that way we don't scratch up the cage you don't have to take the bolts all the way out just enough to where the bars and stuff can wiggle. Probably have to get that one right there with a wrench. Just enough space. Uh, Now we're going to start in on working this on. So just to make sure these are kind of loosened up, check mallet. Because if it's a machine, whether it's new or it's been ridden around or anything, uh, sometimes they, they pull together or flex quite a bit. So now, now depending on where you want this to be, set your height um, sometimes I me preferably I don't like for my tire to exceed my roof some people can some people do there's not really a height requirement um, you can get it here you can level it out however you want to I want to I preferably just eyeball it we we'll just eyeball it, make sure it looks straight. And then if you have accessories and stuff, you know, like speakers or coolers or toolboxes and things like that, of course that gives you a lot of more things to work around. So for right now, just the sake of the demo for the video is we're just putting it on, you know, with nothing here. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to finish this up, I'm going to show you how these clamps work, how everything comes together, and then we will finish the cage, and we'll put us a spare tire on to see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put my clamp up, and get my bolts started. If you have an Allen wrench, you use your Allen wrench, get them started by hand. I do not recommend that you start them with an impact or anything, you may mess up the threads. If you don't have a tap, 
then you will be chasing threads so it'll be a process something that you can avoid making the process longer I didn't get any instructions or anything in the box so I'm not 100% certain if there is any type of torque spec for anybody that runs specifics you know that want to be super informative about it now that I have these guys started right here I'm gonna start the other side and then I'm gonna start working the bolts down so I am using a smaller driver impact but I'm gonna be conscious of you know I'm gonna start snugging these down corners it would be advisable that over time um, to go back and recheck these and retorque them down uh, maybe if you have a lot of vibrations they keep coming loose you pull them out and put Loctite on them so I'm gonna start pulling this side in and then I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna work back and forth back and forth like I said no real instructions on this but sensible is is bringing it all together and tightening it so we're gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna start tightening those down Now we went through the process of getting this tightened up and secured so now we want to do the very important part of tightening the cage back up. very important that you don't leave any bolts loose on the cage um, especially if you got a factory cage you know that's a perspective of safety uh, don't want to hurt yourself or other ones in the machine if you had a say a torque wrench or something you could go through and tighten these down and give you more leverage we want to do the other side As I know there's not really an order of like one two three four just tighten them down the way they've got their their clamps and they bolt in place And again, whenever you go through to double check your bolts on this, you'll want to go through and check your cage bolts. That is something that you do can do without the spare tire carrier, is double checking your uh, cage bolts. All right, now we're gonna grab us a wheel and tire, and we're gonna put it on and see how it fits. Now comes the time that we are going to test fit two different wheels with two different tires on this rack. So with this one is a 32 by 10 by 14. Uh, I don't know the offset on the wheel. I do know that this one right here is a 29 by 9 14. So according to their information that they provide, this rack is suitable for a 30 inch uh, wheel and tire combo. I didn't see if it was a 14 or a 15 all we have available right now in player slug size is 14s so first we're going to try and see if the 32 by 10 by 14s will fit 
climb up here and see if I can line these lug holes up. If we can get this bad Johnny to stay up here. Getting your wheel and tire on and off. Uh, could do it by yourself. Might be a little bit easier with an extra set of hands, depending on how much it weighs. So, right there, I can put lug nuts on it. This is a 32 by 10 by 14. I know in the description that it reads that it will support a 30 up to a 32. That's with a factory Polaris roof. I guess it's all on how you set this. You know, just where it is, if it was raised up more, it would interfere with the roof, but right now it's not. Um, fits in between the cages just fine. Uh, no issues on either side. And then you can see how much, you know, how much room that it has between the wheel or the tire and the roof. So what I'm going to do now is just put the lug nuts on and tighten them down, and then we will see how it how it pulls the wheel itself down. So something that we found during installation, this is not uh, her the fault of uh, Elite Wheel, the tire carrier, but you see these. The wheels that have the deep lug holes so with the lug nuts that they have provided um, I'm, there might be a different option out there you have like a slim lug nut or something that you could use but with the deeps you are not able to get a socket down in there to tighten these down um, with say a, well a socket and a driver or anything so if you have a different set of lug nuts um, like the skinny ones, the spline ones, it would work perfect. You could put those on there. Um, we're going to pull this one back off and we are going to throw a factory razor wheel and tire combo on here and see how it looks. Alright, so we're going to try out the 29 by 9 by 14, throw it up on here. problem at all. Throw these lug nuts up on here. So as you see with this wheel and tire combo, you have a lot of clearance room. So I would say like a 30 by 10. Um, on a 14 inch rim would be perfect. So you have all your space around through there. And before we get started and get to talking about uh, all the different final things that I got to say to end this video out. We're going to cut to some B-roll real quick. about this you ride around a hundred dollars in uh, using the, the Amazon link that I'll provide down in the description uh, roughly a hundred I think it's like a hundred 110 as of today they were running a sale on it ease of installation super easy one of the easier things that you could install in a side-by-side -side. security wise if you care to carry a spare wheel and tire and you have it uh, this is something to add on most definitely the quality of the product I can't see anything wrong with it uh, fits pretty good uh, not had any major issues during installation 
so I'll give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, thanks to Elite Wheel for hooking us up, uh, sending me an email, sending me these products, do the installs and reviews for you guys. Also, thank you to you guys that are tuning in, that are watching these videos and stuff. That's the reason why these companies are contacting me to do so. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Peace out.